So the best cat food brand at Petco we're going to look at is the best raw, and this is Instinct Freeze-Dried Raw. Now, this is the best because really it's the only option there. At least at my local Petco, there are no frozen raw options. They used to have Instinct Frozen Raw, but I didn't see it the last time I went. So freeze-dried raw is the one that we'll look at. And they have a separate product for adults and kittens. On the label, it'll say kitten. The other one that does not say kitten is for adults. So this product name rule here is chicken recipe. That means between 25 and 94.9% chicken. So that's great that there's only one protein in the product name. There's nothing else like chicken and rice, chicken and peas. That's what you wanna see is chicken recipe. For the meat ingredients, we have chicken, including ground chicken bone, chicken liver, chicken heart, and then salmon oil. So that's great that they're adding muscle meat like chicken and heart and also ground bone and also liver. It would be great if there were more meat ingredients, but this is typically the, the base that you will see in most freeze-dried raw cat food brands. They also add this clay, which is an anti-caking agent. Definitely not ideal. I agree with you that cats shouldn't be eating clay. It's necessary for the food production, not necessary for the cats. But again, this is the only freeze-dried raw or raw in general option that's at Petco. Then we have ground flax seed, carrots, apples, butternut squash, blueberries, spinach, and then rosemary they use as a preservative. So those plant-based ingredients, you know, cats wouldn't eat blueberries and carrots and flax seeds in the wild, I understand. But again, most of these freeze-dried raw cat food brands add these types of ingredients to to round out the nutrition since they don't use things like eyes, brain, kidneys, and, and other secreting organs like that that would provide these vitamins and minerals. Then a big con here is tricalcium phosphate. We just can't get away from these phosphates. It's like they're in every type of food. This is a flavor enhancer palatant, and these palatants have been linked to renal issues. Now, this is exactly why my top recommendation is homemade cat food because you have the control of the ingredients and how it's made. But again, this is the only raw option that's at Petco, at least at my local Petco. And this can be a better option than wet food and dry food for sure. And it's helpful in the transition to a homemade diet. The next best cat food brand on Petco, this one is the fresh food option of just food for cats. And again, this is one of the only fresh food options that are at my local Petco. So this is why it's the best. This is fish and chicken recipe. So the recipe is good. There's only meat in the ingredients in the product name, but fish, what kind of fish? You know, they, they specify which type of fish in the ingredients but not in the product name. So we don't know which of those fish ingredients is that composition with the chicken, 25 to 94.9% combined. But this product is human grade quality and they actually make their food in open kitchens and human food production kitchens. And it's lightly cooked and it's frozen and then shipped to you. So it does also look like food that we would eat, which is great. In the ingredients, we have chicken thigh, chicken hearts, and chicken liver, plus some specifically named fish, as I mentioned. So it's good that they have the muscle meat, chicken, chicken thigh, and chicken heart, and then also the secreting liver, secreting organ liver. And fish is not ideal at all because cats often develop an addiction to fish, and this causes picky eating. But if your cat's already eating wet food that's fish flavored, and he's super picky, and you've tried raw, you've tried fresh food, this might be a really great transition food for you. Again, transition food, not long term. Maybe for variety, you know, a little bit here and there, but I personally wouldn't rely on a fish flavored food regardless of the quality long term because then when you try to introduce something that isn't fish flavored, they might be very picky and it could be difficult. But we can use that to our advantage if your cat's picky right now and you wanna get him onto a fresher food, That'll make the transition to raw and a non-fish flavored food much easier. Another con is that they look like they change which type of fiber and thickening agent that they use. So it's good that they don't use any of these gums or carrageenan. They do use straight food sources that also provide some fiber, but it looks like they change it a lot. So earlier this year, I reviewed at my mom's 
and with her four cats, and the package said dried yucca root. The other day, I took a picture at Petco, and it said cassava root. On their website, it says tapioca starch. So it seems like they change it a lot because when I visited my mom, this was earlier this year, took the picture at Petco last week, looked at their website before I filmed this video So today. So it's like, you know, that's three different changes in one year. So this is another reason that I avoid commercial food because they can change their formula whenever they want. And you may not notice because AFCO does give them up to six months to change the label to reflect the formula change. But again, there aren't that many good quality options at Petco and this is fresh food. This is still a step up from the pressurized canned food. Give me a polydactyl thumbs up if this is helpful so far so more cat parents that want to feed their cats better can find this video. Thank you. So the best wet canned food that we'll talk about at Petco is a canna. And this one is beef, chicken, and tuna recipe. So that word recipe is the same product name, but we have three different proteins in that product name. So that composition is the beef, tuna, and chicken combined. So we have beef, chicken, beef bone broth, beef liver, tuna, tuna, <laughs> tuna, <laughs> Beef, chicken, bone broth, beef, liver, tuna, chicken, bone broth. So those are good specific ingredients. It would be nice if it said which part of the beef, like beef round or chicken thigh, but at least it is saying what type of meat instead of just saying meat. And then we have the beef bone broth and the chicken bone broth. So that's good instead of just water. I mean, water is essential, moisture is important, but they're doing broth instead to add some of those trace nutrients. And they also have beef liver, which is a secreting organ. That's good. So there's a lot of variety. Of course, fish, you know, isn't the best because it can cause picky eating, but it's to be expected. And compared to their other products, I think this one is the better one. And they also say salmon oil instead of fish oil. So that's good. You know specifically which fish oil they're using. But then we have locust bean gum, guar gum. There's always going to be thickeners in canned food. That's just to be expected because those thickeners are required for the food, not for cats, they're required for the food to hold the that pate shape together. And then another con we have tricalcium phosphate. Again, we just can't we just can't get away from these phosphates. They're flavor enhancer palatins and they can cause renal issues in cats. But again, these cons are in all types of commercial cat food, and these are the best that I could find at my local pet co. The next best cat food brand that we'll look at at Petco is the dry category, which is origin. And before we talk about the product, I need to make it very clear that I would never feed any type of dry food to any cat long term. The only reason that I would ever use this type of dry food or like an air dried food, they don't have them at Petco. This one origin is probably the best you'll find. The only reason I would use one of these is if I adopted a cat and the cat was very, very addicted to kibble. I already tried freeze dried raw. I already tried air dried food. Nothing worked. I would use this origin as a transition food to help the cat get used to eating better quality ingredients. And then from there, once he's adjusted 100% to this better quality dry food, I would go to freeze dried raw or wet and then raw. So transition food, not long-term food. So this product is with beef, pork, mackerel, boar, goat, lamb. So that word with means that there's less than 25% of those named ingredients. Not ideal, but I think it's because there are 25 different meat ingredients, including some that aren't in that product name. So maybe that's why they have to use the word with because there's there's so much there's so many and so much variety. So there's liver, tripe, kidney, heart from all of these different types of meat, which is great because they're including a lot of muscle meat, the secreting organs. Tripe is great. I'm not really sure how much of the nutrients are still in it because it is cooked. You know, tripe is typically used for the probiotics and enzymes, and when you cook it, that can deteriorate them. But, you know, that variety is still very great to have all of those different proteins. There are some meals, which indicates that it's it could it's a rendered ingredient, and those rendered ingredients can include 4D meats, dead, diseased, dying, disabled. We don't know because AFCO doesn't require or allow, frankly, the pet food manufacturer to put on the label the quality of those 
ingredients. But again, these types of cons are in all types of dry foods. And some more cons, we have lentils, beans, peas, chickpeas, pea starch, lentil fiber. These are all anti-nutrients that you'll see in a lot of grain-free dry cat foods. They use these ingredients to bump up the protein content because they can't use grains. They also need starchy ingredients to bind all the ingredients together and hold that kibble shape. So that's why you'll also see that a lot of dry cat foods are high in carbs. This one particularly is about 26%, so that makes sense. But frankly, it's still less than the average, which is 33%. But going back to those anti-nutrients, those specific anti-nutrients directly prevent the absorption of taurine. So we definitely don't want to use this again long term because of the lack of moisture, but also these anti-nutrients and the carbs. And of course, I'm going to suggest my transition plan right over Mia specifically for picky cats so you can start the transition to better and better quality food. Thanks for watching.